Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make seven minute frosting. This old fashioned frosting is almost marshmallowy. It's so delicious and it's a great alternative to buttercream. We're gonna start by making a makeshift double boiler. You'll need a heat proof glass or metal bowl and a saucepan and you want to make sure that it can fit snugly so that the saucepan cradles the bowl. We're gonna pour in enough water to cover the bottom of the saucepan with about two inches of water. We're gonna bring this to a boil on the stove, but you want to test it out beforehand and make sure that your bowl can sit on top of the pan without the bottom touching any of the water. There's actually a special pan for this called a double boiler, but even I don't own one. I always just use a makeshift one. So we're gonna bring this to a boil on the stove. And while that's coming to a boil, I'll take our bowl here and separate out four egg whites. You can do this egg in shell method like I did here, or some people prefer separating them using their hands and just letting the whites slide through your fingers, or they even make special tools for it but I actually just prefer the shell method. Once you have four egg whites, you'll want to add in one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and one tablespoon of water. Then we're gonna grab the bowl and a hand mixer and head on over to our makeshift double boiler. The steam is going to heat our bowl and that is what is going to cook our egg whites. So we'll place it on top and start mixing for seven minutes. Now you know why this is called seven minute frosting. You could do this by hand with a whisk, but you'd have to be super strong. And honestly, I don't think I could do it. So I'm sticking with the hand mixer. Here's a look at it 90 seconds in. We're starting to lose the granules of sugar and it's starting to look a little bit creamier. Three minutes in and things are getting a lot creamier and we can actually increase our speed a little bit here. Five minutes in and you can see that we've increased in volume quite a bit and it's getting a nice satiny finish to it. And after seven minutes, we can go ahead and pull this off the heat. Your bowl will be warm, so be careful and use hot pads. Then we'll add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and beat this for another two minutes. It would help if I plugged it in. All right, we'll try this again and the whip for two minutes on high. Then after two minutes, you should see stiff peaks form. So if I pull this out, look at that. It holds its shape. Mm. It tastes like marshmallows. This frosting is super good. It's white, it has that satin finish. So it's really fun to frost cupcakes or cakes using this frosting. Look at how beautiful this frosting looks against a chocolate cake. I mean, wow. You can spread it, you can even pipe it into a beautiful little marshmallowy swirl, and then you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.